1987. Yeah. You signed for Millwall. Yeah. The Doc signed you. What was Doc. he like as a manager, Docky? Doc, well, obviously I knew him from the Brentford days when he was number two. Frank was a thing. The thing with them two, they obviously no pals is the same. I could I could wind Frank up like you never seen. But we Doc, I'm still scared of the little fucker now, you know what I mean? He haunts me to death. He's only fucking four foot fucking six. Was he? Oh, he's yeah, only a little mid. Yeah, he's, yeah, he should be in the circus. But scary man. He, but you had that big respect for him. Frank, best one of the best players, you know, centre halves in his day, and uh, his knowledge of footballs out this world. But I could fucking wind Frank up. Would you say? Him him? Well, no. When we was training, I remember Teddy was. <laughs> I remember Teddy was kicking it to the forward, and you got to kick it back, and Frank would turn the other way, and I'd like to Ted. Frank was looking that way. I go, fucking hell, Ted, concentrate, you're fucking about. And he just turned his head, Frank, and goes, fucking hell, Ted, concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go like that, Ted. <laughs> stitch him so, up. Yeah, stitch him up. Well, yeah, but that's a, you know, that's a sort of, we had a good bit of a, we had a good laugh on the training field. But with John, Doc, you can't do things like that. I mean, when you have a couple of beers with John after a game, you know, you can have a giggle with him and all that, but he's, I suppose you've got to have one and the other, you know, but you can't have two the yeah, same. Yeah, good cop, I mean? bad cop, sort yeah. of thing. And, there, um, it, you know, it, it, Doc uh, was good at what he'd done, and Frank was good at what he'd done, you know what I mean? So we knew where we was. Yeah, you played, I mean, if you look back now at the team you had then, it's, it was frightening. You played centre midfield with Les Briley, yeah. the skipper. Yeah. Good partnership with Les on and off the pitch. Yeah, Les. Uh, yeah, well, they say on the pitch, yeah, terrific. Off the pitch, we always a bit the same, you know what I mean? Off the pitch is, uh, you're talking about going for a drink and going yes. afterwards or like, yeah, listen, when you come into training all day long, listen, we're all part of a team. When you go out and have a booze and a shandy and a, a, you know, and a bit of banter, you know, uh, if Les could come, there's a, there's, there's a few of us that always went, some of the others didn't come, you know what I mean? But they couldn't come, but it's fair enough. But I mean, um, yeah, of course, I mean, uh, Les is, uh, He's my mate, and the um, still you know, the club. We, uh, um, yeah, he's still at the club, and the, um, we got stuck into a couple of them, um, them old first division boys, didn't we? Yeah, mate. You know yeah. what I mean? Went up, we end up going up um, in, the, in your second season, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, won the league. Great what, was, what was that like? Ah, it's fantastic. Final day at Hull. Yeah, it's a brilliant thing. That was brilliant. I mean, them couple of years that we had even go, like going up. I mean. You know, you never thought you was going to get beat, and I mean, it's funny when you're a footballer. You, if you get that that feeling, I mean, I had it Sunday one Sunday. I had it on a Sunday playing for a, a team called Simrad. We had the best. I know Simrad. Yeah, yeah. You know Simrad. Marshes. All ran yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We could not get beat, and you had that little bit of horror about yourself. You know what I mean? And yeah. and, and we had that meal all then in them days, and it didn't off give you a leg up if you know what I mean. You know. Yeah. Plus, you had all you lot behind us. Yeah. Well, I was only a deal, but I was well, probably, yeah, I mean, still probably screaming. Like, it was thousands and thousands yeah, and thousands yeah. every game. And you can imagine that lot there, you know, and it was just unbelievable as you walked out. Every game, away game, you know, it was a terrific, terrific time. Blimey. Um, you, you moved on the, the year we got relegated. Um, a lot of people, a few people left there. You went on to Rangers. Um, yeah. And, and by the time you come back, the old den was gone. But what yeah, was it like, the old den? What was well, it? the old den was lovely. I mean, I've, I've told you before, like, when, we play, when I played at Brentford, it was like a madhouse, wasn't it? I mean, the, um, the screaming, the hollering, the hooting, it was, I mean, the stick I got playing for Brentford. It was, uh, you know, it, it could put, <laughs> I can remember Stan Bowles warming up on the line. He was a sub, and he's, uh, I think it was Fred Callahan, I think, or Ronnie Harris, one or two, they might have had Newton on or somewhere, one of them that, Warm up stand, anyway, warmed up. And he come back and went, fuck it, I ain't going on. He said, someone just pulled a fucking knife out. <laughs> <laughs> and he wouldn't go on. <laughs> fuck that, he wouldn't go on. So um, that's the sort of thing, and I love anything like that, you know what I mean? And uh, now I could not wait to get to Millwall. And when I was a part of that, I loved it. I, I knew that what the other teams were going for. And the old game was out as well. Yes, he was. It was. It was Even as, as, as a Mill supporter, yeah. I was a kid, he used to scare the shit out of me going there with the old man. Can you imagine? I mean, I can remember coaches coming through all underneath them arches and the, all the old dogs were barking and yeah, someone yeah. was backing up with a skip lorry and keeping the coach there and fuck knows what. <laughs>
fucking it must have fitted in granny it's, it's, yeah, it's worth a gold start if you, 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 you get someone in, in, in the tunnel or yeah. you get into some of the players in the tunnel before they've even got to the in the ground I'm pretty sure one day I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that you have to put the, you have to give the team shit in at a certain time yeah do, 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 and they just about made it because of someone. <laughs> someone's house I was going. Who, no, Hooten and Oller, someone's fucking back and wouldn't let the coach fucking throw. You know what I mean? So, it, you know, them sort of things, it, it was terrific. It was, that, you know, them things that he, I loved anything like that. Yeah. He's got like one, one gold star.